Hi, I'm Ken Partain with Central Texas Technology Solutions in Georgetown. In my last video, we talked about why you should prioritize your technology gaps. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to prioritize your technology gaps. Today's technology-based businesses must deal with multiple issues, including cyber threats, head-to-head -head competition, and regulatory compliance. Therefore, keeping your technology infrastructure up to date is critical, and the technology audit is the best place to start. A technology audit can assist you in better understanding and identifying gaps in your organization's security, compliance, and backup. A thorough technology audit can assist you in answering the following key questions. Is your current IT structure vulnerable or lacking any areas? Are there any unnecessary tools or processes that do not align with your goals and vision? Are you in compliance with applicable regula regulations and prepared to defend against security threats and capable of restoring business capabilities in the event of a system outage or data breach? What steps can you take to address the discovered vulnerabilities? If you don't have an IT background, the results of a technology audit can be perplexing. You might be overwhelmed by the number of items that need to be refreshed or replaced, and you might be unsure where to begin. Prioritization and the stoplight approach are the particularly useful in this situation. Having a managed service provider or MSP on your side will allow you to seamlessly audit and remediate IT issues. The stoplight method is a simple way of categorizing gaps or vulnerabilities into red, yellow, and green. Red addresses the highest risk and vulnerabilities first. Always have a clear idea of what to prioritize in order to prevent and deal with mishaps. Since most organizations cannot address all problems at once, it is critical to focus the most attention and resources on the most pressing issues first. Any technological refresh should prioritize addressing the most severe infrastructure vulnerabilities. For example, if your company is dealing with a ransomware attack, updating or upgrading Microsoft 365 is a lower priority. High priority vulnerabilities that must be classified as red include the following. Backups that won't work. Unauthorized network users, including ex-employees and, and third parties. Login attempts and successful logins by users identified as former employees or third parties. Unsecured remote connectivity. A lack of documented operating procedures. Yellow will then focus on the gaps that are not urgent. There will be gaps that must be kept under watch, but can wait until the most crucial issues get resolved. Although these medium priority gaps may be acceptable in the short term, consider them when planning and budgeting for future technology updates. The following vulnerabilities fall into the yellow category and are of medium severity. Insufficient multi-factor authentication. Automated patching system failure. Outdated antivirus software. Failure to enable account lockout for some computers. Green then addresses those non-critical suggestions if your budget allows. These are the lowest priority vulnerabilities. Implement measures to close them gradually after fixing the high and medium priority issues first. The following are some of the gaps that fall into the green category. Accounts with passwords set to never expire. Computers with operating systems that are nearing the end of their extended support. Persistent issues with on-premises syncing. More administrative access than is required to perform essential duties. Following this stoplight method, you won't have to deal with a situation where money is spent unnecessarily on a less critical issue if you prioritize gaps and close them systematically based on severity. Simply put, prioritization is advantageous for budgets. Furthermore, you can maintain uptime by prioritizing gaps before refreshing your IT infrastructure because not all components will be down at the same time. This also prevents productivity and customer service from being jeopardized. Not sure where to begin? A managed service provider, MSP like us, can help you prioritize technology gaps so you can get the most out of your technology investment while also ensuring uptime and productivity. I have an, an infographic of this stoplight method I'd like to share with you. I will provide a link in the comments below. Please be sure to follow our pages on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.